This shish and hash is amazing. Tastes like cake batter. I love this flavor, I just wish they have this one in a bigger size. But I recommend this one and the one with chocolate flavor. For a plant-based protein powder, this stuff is really good. The flavor is great, and it's not gritty like a lot of other plant-based proteins I've had. It's full of a lot of good ingredients, and with 30 grams of protein in a scoop, it's decent for being plant-based. I tried the mocha and vanilla flavors. I would recommend the mocha, it's not overly sweet, and is just a nice flavor change from plain chocolate. The vanilla flavor is very sweet, and is probably better mixed into a shake where the flavor can be covered up. It just has an overly sweet, chemical-like taste that makes it smell and taste more like a fake cake batter flavoring. The mocha goes down much better mixed with some plain water or water and almond rice milk in a blender bottle. The consistency is smooth mixed in a blender bottle, the powder has an almost silky texture, which is a downside when scooping because it goes everywhere like powdered sugar if you're not careful. But, this makes for easy blending with a smooth, silky texture to it. I would purchase again even though the price is pretty steep. Also, if you do purchase, just be mindful when scooping that there's a small preservative pack in the tub. I found it when digging for the scoop. I think they place it in the scooper so you find it right away, but just be careful you don't scoop it into your blender or shaker bottle. Delicious. I make smoothies with almond milk, frozen fruit, this propow, and PBFIT. So delicious, my Nutribullet sucks and this still seems to blend completely and not taste weird. I'm happy with my purchase and plan to try more Vega products soon. Is it normal that there's 5 little holes in the seal? I like it, I use it. Read the label if you like it buy it for yourself. This is my favorite of all the plant-based protein powders I've tried. It's the only one that is tolerable when mixed with plain water after a workout. I also add it to smoothies and it blends well. Protein content per scoop, half scoop is better than a lot of others as well. One scoop equals 40 grams of protein. Great price on Amazon too. I love Vegas protein powders, especially their chocolate flavor. So, when I saw this flavor, I definitely wanted to try it. It's really good. It is high quality. It mixes well. It doesn't taste like the fake peanut butter flavors with tons of sugar or salt. If you combine it with just a little bit of water it makes a paste, batter type consistency, which you can just eat and is delicious. Reminds me of a slightly less flavorful PB2, but a thicker consistency. I received this product on October 11, 2018. At the time of posting this the Amazon listing is out of date. The ingredients and nutritional info have been altered. I've included photos of the new formula and will update with a further review after an extended trial. Edited to say. This is healing my interstitial cystitis. 
I've had IC for about 20 years but it became agonizing about 6 years ago, it's considered, at end stages, to be more painful than advanced cancer. My IC is getting better with a combination of Vega, Desert Harvest Aloe capsules, and avoiding high oxalate foods. Amazing. Okay, on to the rest of the review. Very happy with this vegan protein powder. It's good shaken up with water and just an ounce or two of grape juice. It's not like some protein powders that are so gritty or nasty tasting that you have to mix them into a smoothie. I am really amazed that I can just shake this up in my cup with plain old water and a bit of juice and be happy with the taste. I get the vanilla flavor, and it's also good in a smoothie if you prefer it that way. Edited to add. I just received my second bottle of Vega Sport Performance Protein and it looks completely different than my first bottle. The powder is all clumped inside, leading me to question the quality control. I emailed customer service and quickly received an email stating, due to natural variation in raw materials, our product can exhibit slight variations in color and texture. We have also had the chance to improve the physical properties of our product and the clumping that is seen in the newer lot is characteristic of the product. The clumps are easily broken apart and should not affect the taste quality of the Yervega product. I have tasted this new lot of protein powder and it tastes exactly like my last tub of protein powder, possibly even better. I am happy to say I can still recommend this protein powder highly. Loved this product and had been using for a long time. But recently it came with 5 holes in the seal so I returned cuz I don't feel safe to consume. Can someone from the product owner confirm if it's a change in manufacturing approach? Because I have seen similar holes in the bottles of one of the stores as well. Update. Although no one from manufacturer cared to answer, but I was able to browse through one of the comments from the manufacturer that the holes are placed to maintain the freshness of the product. I could buy into that logic and started using the product again. The new ones also have holes. Advice to manufacturer. If you can put a small disclaimer on the product label clarifying the reason for the holes, it will help retain more customers. Nevertheless, back to 5 stars. I have attached photos of the chocolate-flavored, premium protein. Because I bought it based on numbers I saw on vanilla, and they're different. Peas. Vanilla tastes like cake batter, chocolate is really bland. I just mix mine with water. This protein powder is packed with a whopping 30 grams of dairy-free protein which is a perfect option for vegans and those who are lactose intolerant. The taste is great, I bought vanilla, and when blended in a blender, the product mixes up pretty well. I rated this product 4 stars because it doesn't blend as smooth as some other plant-based protein powders I've tried. If mixed in a shaker, the product maintains a pretty gritty texture. Even after blending in the blender, when a bit of product gets on your lips and you push them together, like after you apply chapstick, there is a slightly gritty texture. Click link in description for more reviews.